So Scott Askem, not in England, but in Deutschland, in Germany. And nice to see you, Scott. Very nice to see you at the EMC and also in UFD gym in Dusseldorf. Yeah, it's great to be here. Obviously, we've got an event on tonight. Uh, big fight card, yeah. So happy to be here, get a, camp, get a good camping, get see some fights. You need to say, uh, how did you pick this UFD gym to, to prepare for your next fight? Because as we know, uh, okay, okay, there are some problems with coming to, to America, to ATT, where you were always training. So why you have the gym? So I trained with David Savada uh, at American Top Team in 2017. Obviously, I know Soldich has uh, we've uh, fought on the same card and stuff. So I know, I know uh, Soldich through that, and I know it's a, a great gym. I know it's got some, got some good fighters, and, and that, that made me decision. Uh, also, I know some big names have trained here. Do you know what I mean? So I, I know a lot of big names have come here to train. Like they don't come here for nothing. Obviously, it's good training, and yeah, yeah everything stood up to me. It's expectations, and it's been great work so far. So. Uh uh, could you tell us something about sparring with Roberto Soldic? How do you see him uh, when you spar with him? You are obviously in middleweight, he's in lightweight, uh, uh, in welterweight. So how do you see the differences between you and him with fast, uh, strong uh, and anything else? Yeah, spar sparring, sparring. Uh, for me personally, it's not something I ever speak about. Um, just for a simple reason that it's, it's not fighting. Sparring is sparring and fighting is fighting. I, I, I just see them as two, t two different things. One's practice ones but yeah Soldich is a, a, an animal in there Every, everybody knows that from his fights uh, but yeah it's, it's, been, it's been great to get some working with him so who's your main sparring partner here uh, beside of David Zavada yeah we've got a few good guys here uh, Roberto Soldich Gleison Tibau uh, Roberto I've done a few rounds with Abbas as well I, I know he's hey look who's here good 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> nice guest, nice guest. Yeah, good guest, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Abus Magomedov, that's why I wanted to ask you because Abus is training here and he's before the debut in KSW, but we hope to see him in KSW someday. Is yeah. that a problem? No, it's no problem. For, for me, like, like I've just said here previous, training is training and fighting is fighting. There's two separate things. Um, I'll, tra I'll train with anybody and then. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the fight I've got in front of me and, and for me uh, I need to get the best preparation for the fight that I've got in front of me and then when, if, if me and Abbas do get matched to fight each other I'll worry about that then and I'll make sure I've got the right training partners for the for the right guys that's, that's just how I am I, I look at the fight I've got in front of me and I make sure I deal with that fight before I concern myself about any other fights I've got Okay, uh, I don't need to say that a lot of fans in Poland are waiting for your next fight I know that you cannot tell me anything about your next opponent but maybe about the day of the fight when October uh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that to be honest with you. I don't I don't know uh, okay so let's talk about this one of your last post on Instagram and Facebook this one with the clown it was good it was funny and who are you thinking about when you are posting a clown what what was the reason of posting this kind of uh, um, picture well, let's not, let's not say who I was thinking okay. about. Let, let's let's say more who the fans were yeah, thinking about. What were they thinking about? This this is what interested me the most. Poor, poor Thomas Darko. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> thinks he's a clown. I I never said this, so I'm sorry, Thomas. I I think you're a cool guy. You're a funny guy, but yeah, everybody thinks you're a clown. <laughs> uh, in your opinion, this fight with Thomas Darko is the fight to make? Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, me and Thomas will meet down the line. Uh, that, 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 that's the goal, goal of mine. I want that light heavyweight title. Uh, I feel like uh, double champ's uh, a thing that's in at the minute. Everybody wants to be double champ. And I, I want the opportunity to that light heavyweight belt. Okay. Being in KSW champ is not an easy uh, thing to do because uh, there are some fighters in the middleweight that they want to fight with you. But also I know that you want to develop your skills and to have some other new names on your record. So maybe would you like to see somebody from outside of KSW? KSW, maybe there are some names that you are interested in. No, I think I think K KSW has got a very strong middleweight division. I feel like uh, it's probably one of the best in, in the world. Um, Would you compare it to Bellator's? Yeah, it's definitely up there. Yeah, look look at the signings they've made. I know I know they haven't debuted yet, uh, but obviously got Mat Matilda Kalidov, me. 
Uh, no, Thomas de Waal. Tom, Thomas de Waal, yeah, I know he's a little bit older, but yeah, he's, yeah. He's more, more a Polish legend. Yeah, in but, perspective, yeah. we are Abus Magomedov, uh, Durayev. Yes, Durayev, um, Patrick, yeah. um, who else is there? I know there's another, yeah. But yeah, the, the, it's a strong division. Uh, I just feel like the uh, the challenger needs to emerge in the division. Uh, obviously, I've got my eye on the light heavyweight as well, but to to have both belts and float between both would that be amazing okay okay so uh, my last question is regarding to emc uh, so we've got nine fights and some of the guys who are fighting for ksw are also fighting today it's satoshi ishi and erko yun let's talk about this fight uh, uh, from erko yun how do you feel is he a favor or underdog in his fight with uh, damian Os uh, olszewski i don't know the other guy but i i, I would definitely put erko as a favor uh, i've trained with erko since i've been here and uh, he, he's, he's definitely going places, improving all the time, and uh, to, he surprised me a lot when I was on the mat with him. To be honest with you, for how long he's been training, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's developing very fast, and he's getting some good skills. I'm sure he'll show them tonight. Very nice guy uh, from England, uh, Stuart Austin, the guy who is fighting with uh, Satoshi Ishii. Uh, he was fighting in Bamma in Bellator, has a good history. He's a young guy with a great experience. And then we see the legend, uh, his opponent, Satoshi Ishii, is like a kind of a guy who was fighting all around the world. So uh, my question is, would you put some money on Satoshi Ishii win? Um, to be honest with you, I know, I know. Uh, I don't even know if I've fought on the same card as Stuart, but I know, I know, obviously know him from the scene. Then I think he's a judo player himself, right? Yes. Yeah, I thought I thought uh, I heard that, um, but obviously not on the on the same level of judo wise. Uh, I feel like the the small cage will um, will play into Ishi's Ishi's game plan, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, be a good fight. Okay, great. So, what can I wish you for this next uh, couple of weeks that you are going to spend in UFD? Yeah, uh, just good health. Good health always is. Uh, that's all you need really in it, as long as you've got good health, what else do you need? Okay, so stay healthy and stay strong and we are waiting for the news about your next fight. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank you.